Check Live. Um, I'm Verde Arbusto, and this is the Schumann Resonance Harmonics channel on uh, YouTube and Facebook. And uh, it is on the 7th of September, 2020, um, and it's a, uh, a Monday. I think we're in, still on Monday. Um, uh, thank you all for being here. Um, I have the fans going in the background, so hopefully they're not um, getting picked up too much in the, um, the mic. Um, all right, so uh, I am still, this is part seven, I'm still discussing the, um, what happened at Tom's. Uh, and um, this is uh, the, the before... Right. So, um, event mode. There's, I didn't look this up, but there's, the buoys have what's called an event mode. And it, and it sends out a, a, a warning signal. That's different than this. Okay. Um, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to kind of maybe examine that in the future of a, um, sorry about that, uh, earthquake. Um, a uh, a possible thing with with the um, the operating system over there. I don't know. It's difficult to find research on there on the particular machines at Tomsk, or Tomask uh, State University. All right. So um, I think uh, first things first. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate everyone. I appreciate the comments. Um, and I incorporate what people say a lot of times into my presentations, which is why uh, it, it can take, you know, maybe a few days uh, to put out a video um, uh, uh, for that purpose, or, you know, even three days or whatever, uh, because we're researching stuff or looking into specific things. Uh, and I'd like to say, oh, the rest of the YouTube land does that, but I, I have no idea. <laughs> um, but, you know, people do the various amount of homework for the videos. I, you know, that's, that, that's for clear. Uh, either that person or the team that they have working for them. Um, at any rate, um, I'm with the show. Um, so uh, I want to give a big, huge uh, shout-out to Wages World for his, uh, his uh, live cast... Um, they're uh, fabulous, the live streaming, you know, after uh, however many years you've been doing this, I think you said 10, uh, you know, for you to finally do one of those is like, you know, bravo. Uh, and so I have this kind of image of, you know, everyone has their expertise and some people know how it all fits together. And I think uh, Mark is one of those people, like the captain. You know, for example, he's, you know, certainly you have a crew of, you know, 40,000 of us, uh, you know, who've signed on, uh, you know, the varying amount of us are, some of us are still uh, in the passenger stage, and then there's those of us who are in the crew. Um, and so, uh, you know, the, the captain doesn't know everything about every system, but he knows how it all fits together and gives you the overall picture. So if, if he needs... You know, I, I love Star Trek, you know, that image of, you know, we need more, uh, you, you know, I, he calls down to Scotty. Uh, if you're not familiar with Star Trek, the old Star Trek, you know, the, the engineer, the chief engineer, Scotty, you know, he, he calls down, like, I need more power, like, now, you know, in 10 minutes, so we're all dead. <clears throat> and he's like, I, I, I can do it in 30, Captain. He's like, no, you got 10, <laughs> you know. And so uh, it's that kind of thing where, you know, you're from the right angle or the right right position of knowledge, you kind of rise up in the ranks. Um, you know, so that's how you make captain, is you're not born into captain, you have to know, you know, various parts of the different system. And some captains might come from an engineering background. And so they, they would know that, you know, this is how to get that all to work, you know, in, in their mind as they're thinking about this and strategy and what the, the you know, the, the ship can can do relative to the the equipment you know uh doesn't need to know how the whole transmission works but like you know it's a really good idea that it can do this and that and the specifics of it and 
you know, sometimes it's more of paper knowledge than an actual hands-on experience. That's really important to remember, you know, in the captain's position. You know, anyway, so, <clears throat> pardon me, I look at uh, Wages World as like that, a kind of captain who's kind of running uh, a certain ship, if you will, on an ocean of, wild o ocean of information, um, you know, knowing how to plot the course is really important. Okay, so, um, we're still working on the, um, the, the data uh, anomaly, and, oh, you know, by the way, I just want to say thank you for sharing your, your story of recovery, it's extremely important. On the one hand, no one really cares, you know, and I mean that in a good, healthy way, but on the other hand, it's like it really means all of the difference in the world, because we're not just, you know, well, I'm not getting paid for this, I may not ever get paid for it, and, you know, my royalties go to the music. You know, all of them that have music have a copyright claim uh, uh, to them, generally. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I fix it, but a lot of them have, you know, it's not a strike, it's a claim. So any of the music that, that I, the profits that I were to get were to go to the music, by the way. Just so you know, I'm supporting the musicians. Oh, why the music? Yeah, well, it supports the musicians, just so you know. Uh, I just want to get that straight. Um, <clears throat> directed to a particular comment by a particular user. I'm sorry, uh, uh, viewer. Um, all right, so, taking a drink of some coffee. <clears throat> all right, so, where are we at? All right, so I'm the technician. I'm the Schumann guy, uh, the Schumann tech. Um, and this series has been a technical examination of where the data can go wrong at Tomsk, what, what's happening, right? So, without knowing the, the machine itself, I am giving you the best examples I can of the people who do make the antennas. So, you, you have an, an analog to the, the antenna and, and the, um, the data process and what's happening and, and the technical aspects of this that I'm looking at, right? This is why it's important, for, for, because I'm looking at it. This is what I'm, I'm going through. All right, so... Um, so this was where we first see it, it's starting to go woogity, okay, and this is on the 30th, you know, the nothing much is happening before that, okay, ding, and then you start getting these, okay, this is our, again, there's two different types of antennas I've shown you, this is the ball antenna, Okay, and this is the other, not that, this is the other guy here, all right? So all of these went into a flat line at weird, odd, random places, where they were, just kind of where they, at the time they were. This is local time, okay? This is, you know, here they get this spike at uh, four, roughly around four in the afternoon. Uh, I'm sorry, like four in the morning, that would be. Zero is midnight. All right, so it's roughly four in the morning. All right. Getting into the time of the postman. This is when the postmen are getting up, the bakers and postmen. All right. So you see this flat. It drops, then it flats, then there's a dip, you know, a little, little burble. Flat again, plateaus, descends, another flat, then the break, they shut it off, right? As Wagers World. <clears throat> I believe accurately stated, they they hit the re-switch, got it working, it was fine again. Okay. So you see, this is before this is before it had gone into crazy mode. Okay. What we're calling our safe mode. Okay. This is an event, something hit it off. Now the you, there's no immediate cause and effect here. Okay. And in here, there's not an immediate cause and effect that you can see. There's some clear, like, like if it was in the middle of a white, you know, one of those big, big ass white stripes, you could say that. Okay, but there's no within the 40 hertz, the lowest, the Earth hugging range. There's nothing really significant about the last 24 hours that we, that we you see, right? I don't see anything, right? It it, it would seem to be working fine. And then it, it, it went into an event mode of some type, 
All right. I'm just calling this generally an event mode. Okay. Uh, and then the breaker got tripped. That's less than an hour. That's half an hour. That's just a reset on the a reboot on the computer itself or something, you know, without knowing what they have for a data CPU uh, data processing unit, like a, a, if it's Windows, I mean, they're over there in Russia. They're using a Russian version of Windows. Um, is it Linux? I don't know. Uh, how how many computer systems are there involved and either in this video or the next one I'm going to show you a basic antenna setup the front end and uh, there's a gentleman on YouTube who actually has a Schumann receiving antenna computer setup that I'm going to show you all right so we're, we're, we're on Tom's going to just stick on Tom's for, for this video not get off, off track track all right so um what it's important to point out here is this, the same as the other one, right? The other one's longer, and it, and it kind of, uh, they, 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 they just stuck where, uh, I'll show you again. So, oh, you don't, I don't, don't have it on this one, right, sorry. I gotta go on one of the other specter, uh, one of the other dependency reports and show you, anyway. So, but the point was, that wherever it, it flatlined out at that moment, right? So it, it went into a, the computer went into an event mode and what we're calling it is a safe mode uh, because I think event mode is the wrong kind of description here I, I, or I don't know that we may, we're going to develop that. We'll develop that as a, a, a theme, I think. Uh, but for right now, we're, we're just going to stick with a safe mode. All right, we're just going to learn what it, kind of the safe mode is. Uh, and like I said, I will develop the theme of um, the other one. All right, so, so, uh, let's see, what do we got? All right, we got that. Right. So, um, safe mode. All right, so where we're at with this. So, we're going to read to you what it says. Right. Safe mode from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia. It says, for spacecraft operating mode, see safe mode spacecraft. Right. Safe mode is a diagnostic mode of a computer operating system. So, diagnosis is the identification of the nature and cause of a certain phenomena. Diagnosis is used in many different disciplines with variations in the use of logic, analytics, and experience to determine cause and effect in systems, engineering, and computer systems. Typically, it is we'll go there later. It's an operating system. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, they get a picture there. Nice. Okay. An operating system, OS, is system software that manages computer hardware, hard, uh, software resources, and provides common services for computer problems. Programs, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe one of the same. All right. And so this is user, and they're giving you a little arrow chart, and, you know, application operating system hardware. All right. So we can go over there later, perhaps. But I uh, just, all right. all right, so it can, oh, another picture, nice. All right, so it says it can also refer to a mode of operation by application software, and so they give you this really nice picture here. Application software is a program or group of programs designed for end users. Examples of an application include a word processor, a spreadsheet, an accounting application, a web browser, an email client, a media player, a file viewer, a simulator, blah, 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 you get the point. Uh, safe mode. Safe mode is intended to help fix most, if not all problems. Within an operating system, it is widely used for removing rogue software, rogue security software. All right, so... Rogue security software is a form of malicious software and internet fraud that 
misleads users into believing there's a virus that there's a virus on the computer and aims to convince them to pay for the fake malware removal tool. Oh, that's an interesting thing to consider. Okay, we're we're the we're the human uh, machines hijacked, right? Are they removing rogue software? Did someone hack them? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. All right, we're just going by the numbers here. All right, background. All right. Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and Android and Linux distributions such as Ubuntu and Linux Mint. I've used that. I've used actually both of those. Um, are examples of contemporary operating systems that implement a safe mode called Safe Boot in Mac OS, as well as other complex electronic devices. All right. In Safe Mode, an operating system has reduced functionality. But the task of isolating problems is much easier since many non-core components are disabled, such as sound. An installation that will only boot into safe mode typically has a major problem, such as a disk corruption or the installation of poorly configured software that prevents the operating system from successfully booting into its normal operating mode. <clears throat> Though it varies by operating system, safe mode typically loads only essential executable modules and disables devices except for those necessary to display information and accept input. It can also take the form of a parallel miniature operating system that has no configuration information shared with the normal operating system. For example, on Microsoft Windows, the user can also choose to boot to the recovery console, a small text-based troubleshooting mod mode kept separate from the main operating system, which can also be accessed by booting the installation CD, or by various safe mode op op options sorry, that run the dysfunctional OS, but with features such as video drivers, audio, and networking disabled. Safe mode typically provides access to utility and diagnostic programs so a user can troubleshoot what is preventing the operating system from working normally. Safe mode is intended for maintenance, not functionality, and it provides minimal access to features. Okay, now we're going to look at recovery console. All right. A picture eminent, I guess. The recovery console, oh yeah, no, they give me a little line command up there. That's it. Let me, uh, let me entertain you. All right. So, recovery console. Right there. Let me get the point over there. Right. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, interesting. All right. So, as you actually now can't really see, there's, there's, uh, a little command, command line, right? So, they're giving you the, the um, directory prompt, right? And so, uh, all of us, I'm not going to go into this, but this is um, computer code. Uh, it's a, a, the shell, the, um, the run program um, um, has this. If you go into Windows, um, it's a, uh, the, the, I don't know how to put it. The, the, the um, well, it's the recovery. This is basically what that's that's giving you is the recovery uh, console. Is a feature of the Windows 2000, Windows XP, and Windows Server 2003 operating systems. It provides the means for administrators to perform a limited range of tasks using a command line. There you go. That's a command line interface. Its primary function is to enable administrators to recover from situations something or other. Uh, so, um, uh, that just gives you a basic idea. All right. So, all right. So I think that's. I, I'll, I'm not going to. Don't need to go into more of that. All right. So, um, what we're talking about here is a safe mode. Okay. So the Earth. As far as I'm concerned, as far as we're concerned, the Earth itself did not flatline. Okay, I'm just making this as a point-blank statement because the rest of the magnetometers were still chugging along. Okay, and that's what we're looking at in Schumann resonances. 
you, you have to, I really believe you need to remember this, and, and if it takes me the rest of the 10 minutes to make this, this point, hammer it home, it'll all be worth it, that the Schumann resonances are made of two almost distinct things. They're interrelated, interwoven, but they're measured by two different antennas, okay? There is the ball antenna for the electric part, that's short range, within five miles, all right, the, we, I showed you the, the diagram on the other one here, Jammy Jam, kilometer range, okay? This guy is in the mountains. Look at this. There's nothing around this fresh fella here, whereas we look at Tomsk. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is here in the, the Polygon building somewhere in this tangle. So compare that, compare that. When you're talking about you know, we, you know, wages world said it accurately and ad adequately. It's it's regional, right? So know where you're getting your information from. This is super super important. So this guy here, okay, he's in. Um, I forget now which one he he's he's in. Uh, Russia, I think somewhere. Um, Greek. I think this is one the the Greek the the uh, Ionian. Um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, so this one was a Greek one. All right, so he's in the countryside of Greece, relative, you know, as opposed to, as far as I know, as far as the data has been able to come up with, he talks about 17 miles, seven kilometers, I'm sorry, he's talked about 17 kilometers from the middle of Tomsk, which is busy. You see how compact everything is there. How are you able to measure any kind of Schumann anything in the middle of all that stuff? Well, there you go. Okay, so it's all... A matter of, if you want to know what the true resonances are, you have to look at the magnetics of it. Because the magnetics have been around the world, and aye, aye, aye. Um, <clears throat> yeah, at least the Stanfield version. I think we like that much better. Uh, so, um, all right. So, that is the difference between the two, between Tomsk machine and this one here. Now, because they're in civilization, that's in a university. You know, it's an interesting story of, of the Tomsk State University having broken apart from the Polytech, which is just down the road. Um, and they do, the Polytech does jet engine uh, stuff. Uh, if I'm, I'm uh, Modes of transportation on a big scale like that, which produce certain radio frequencies at a measurable, certainly a measurable distance, uh, stones throw away from their, their sister university, you know, Tomsk and, and the Polytech there. So those, um, what I'm calling that, have called the dedicated frequencies, I am, I have maintained that those are coming from the Polytech right next door. Okay. So... Um, this is just what I'm coming from my research right here. I uh, believe as you will, but we're talking about the two or three or the 17 Hertz lines being manufactured or generated locally. Okay. Uh, and not on the worldwide uh, scale. So you, wa you want to know, if you want to know what the, the, the resonances are, the Schumann resonances are, you've got to look at the magnetics. So, none of the rest of that I've seen, and we'll go into the point A and all the space news and space weather and space weather live. <laughs> There's space weather news, spaceweather.com, and spaceweatherlive.com. Just so as you all know. So, if none of the rest of them all there then have gone blank, then I mean, I'm going with Occam's razor that the Earth itself did not flatline. Um... However, there is, that does not mean, <laughs> that does not mean that there ain't shit happening that, that is of a metaphysical, like a higher dimensional, different thing. Like, I don't know how to put that, but on a different dimension, different density dimension, there's, there's other stuff, stuff happening that it's like, all right, yeah, this is, this is not provable, but I'll... Yeah, well, I'll talk about that in its own thing. Uh, Queen V, Lady V, uh, she had made that claim. I'm saying, no, that, that didn't happen. However, that doesn't mean we're not in the middle of an ascension. You know, there's stuff happening. 
Uh, so, um, so it's a, well, yeah, no. Yes and no. All right, so, um, on with the show. All right, so, um, that's a wonderful antenna. I want to get to that. But first, um, all right, so safe mode. We know what safe mode is going into this. And I'm at 26 minutes. I think I have enough time to play this. All right, so this is from Wages' um, live cast uh, the other day where he made a, a, a claim. And I want to play it. Uh, but I'm going to play the, the, um, the, for those who didn't, for those of my people who didn't see this or haven't seen it, um, uh, uh, pretty much the majority of you are from there. So, but for the 45 who weren't, um, you know, there, uh, the 45 of you who weren't there from Wages World, I'm going to play this. Oh, hold on. Anyway, um, this is the uh, the human, obviously. Uh, for most most of you guys know this. Um, you know, we're not seeing a whole lot of. There's not a whole lot here on this right now, um, and and that that is kind of what we've been noticing. We had that crazy anomaly that I talked about yesterday. Um, Verte did a uh, like a six part series just on that anomaly, and guys, you know, Seven. to understand that kind of an anomaly. You really got to have some patience and try to learn what you're actually looking at. And it does take a, a, a little bit to understand it, okay? Um, you know, for those of us that are just kind of a basic, you know, look at this and, you know, what's it mean in the big picture type of situation? Um, you know, that's why, you know, I kind of leave some of that stuff out on purpose because it becomes a big, big bowl of word salad a lot. Because even myself, I don't understand all of it all put together sometimes. So when I'm trying to relay that message, I can't just throw a bunch of big words at people because, you know, it's just not going to be understood. Not, not that people can't understand what I'm saying. That's not the point. The point is that most of us, if we're not familiar with something, and you start throwing big vocabulary words at them, it just confuses them even more. So you, we really have to bring it down to a level where we can all understand it together and, you know, so we can understand just the basics. That's really all we need. Um, you know, you want to dive deeper into it, of course, please do. Because you can learn from that, and when you see other things, it will help you. But at, at the beginning of it, just, you know, try to understand basics. And once you do that, you're off to the races because it'll, it'll, it'll click. So <laughs> when we're looking at this, and we, we've seen that big, big crazy anomaly that lasted for like three days. And, you know, they actually gave an explanation for it on their site, okay? As I think they were doing some, like, equipment um, upgrades, and it, it was in that pattern, and it stayed in that pattern for three days straight because they, they didn't want to shut it off for whatever reason, and this, that's the way I understand it. Um, now, if that's exactly how it happened, not sure. You know, there's always that possibility that it could have been something, okay? I'm not saying that that's not... not you know, could not have been something, but, I mean, if you really look at it, something that lasts that long, if it was something really, really serious that we really shouldn't be seeing, I don't think they would have allowed it to stay there for three days. Uh, that's just my opinion, guys. Um, <laughs> and, you know, again, you know, if it's something bad, really big, bad stuff like that, they're not going to let it stay there for three days. Um, they, they just won't do it because it would just cause mass panic for people that really understood what they were looking at. And it did look like it immediately, and I've seen it all before, that part of it, that same signature. And I explained it the day before, so I, hopefully you guys understood that because I wasn't trying to downplay what was actually going on. You know, because me, when I look at this thing, you, you guys know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, I'm seeing coded lines and <laughs> everything else. And you guys seeing this? I mean, right here. Right down through there. It's still there. Plus, we're getting these spikes still. These these little spikes aren't really much, okay? But they do, you know, they do mean something, okay? Um, you know, whatever that means. You know what, guys? Hold, hold on one second here. I think I'm going to pop over here. X out that. Um, 
this is Mr. MB3's page. We'll just, we'll just go over here and go to the Schumann real quick and see the update. Because with all these earthquakes popping off right now, I'd be interested to see if there's anything. Yeah, see, the Schumann ain't doing anything right now, guys. So, yeah. Um, so whatever that means. You know, with, with these earthquakes going on and, and the Schumann's not reacting. Now remember, we got to keep in mind, this is regional. This is over in Russia. This is not the only Schumann tool, okay? Matter of fact, this one we're looking at here is a combination of different locations, and they put an average. That That's another thing that makes that anomaly so crazy that it, there's, there's, it just adds to, like, there's no way that that couldn't have been anything but a tool flaw. And if it wasn't, it was definitely intentionally done. That's what I would say. So... <coughs> You say lag time? You guys getting a lag? All right. So, <clears throat> wonderful. Thank you. All right. So, um, I agree with a lot of what he says. Now, uh, relative to, this is a whole nother discussion, and I've done, I'm going to have to do more posts on the relationship between the Schumann and, uh, um, what the heck, um, the Schumann and earthquakes. Because the Schumann resonances do not cause earthquakes. Uh, just so we know that. The actual Schumann resonances do not cause earthquakes. Schumann resonances are picked up before and earthquake Schumann resonances are detected before an earthquake I just want to let that sink in as we are I'm coming up to the end of the video let that be the last